Black Pollock. Black Pollock, Pollock White Pollock, Haddock, Cod, Link, Red Gurnard, Red Gurnard, Dogs, the Dogfish. But um, once the action really starts on the shark, it gets heavy, we'll, we'll forget about the bottom fish. August day and I'm going fishing. I'm not going fishing for brown trout or sea trout or salmon or coarse fish, nothing like that. I'm going fishing for blue shark, big blue shark, five miles out here from the harbour of Dinings in Donegal there are blue sharks coming in from the Atlantic. These sharks are they're very big, they're very cruel, greedy and they're great fighters. There was a, a shark caught here last year, this very week last year, 144 pounds. The biggest shark caught in the whole country on rod and line. I don't want to catch anything like that because that would wreck you. A shark like that, you're playing it for some 40, 45 minutes. It leaves your arm very sore and tired, destroys your back, and by the time you get it in, you're lying like the shark itself flopping on the deck. I don't want anything like that. A 25 pound tiddler shark will do me very, very nicely. On this boat today, we have some of the best shark fishers in the whole country. And they come from elsewhere as well to this festival. But we'll just see how good they are today, once we get out there. about 35 minutes now from Dinings Harbour and just at Duncap Head here we're moving round into what's known as Skate Bay before we come to Hornhead proper and the, the reason we've slowed down here is to catch mackerel trying to catch fresh mackerel to use as bait for the shark uh, some of the mackerel will also be used for what they call rubby dubby that's the, the stuff they put out in a kind of a slick to, to bring the sharks to us. But we're having a bit of trouble getting mackerel here now. Uh, so Trevor, he's the skipper, he's going to troll about for a wee while longer and uh, see if we have any luck. So the, the, the men have the rods out at the moment. I'm going to do that myself very shortly and see if I can catch my fair share of mackerel as well. Mackerel is an important fish because it's nice and oily, it's like heron, and uh, the sharks like that kind of enticement. That's the way to do it.
pocket, and we do it in the pocket, just lay down there and die. This will probably be your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Low numbers are nearest the boat. Low numbers. High numbers are further south. It's like Christmas Day on the other side of that boat there with, with very fragile balloons of all colours, yellows, greens, orange, red, floating about on the surface of the water. I mean, it, it, it does look peculiar. It does, most certainly. But they, they, they have a purpose. Um, two purposes, in fact. The first purpose is to keep the bait at a particular depth and also to keep the baits away from the boat rather than having all the baits close together. And the second purpose is to give an indication when the shark is about. If you watch your balloon, the shark comes, you see the balloon bobbling or whatever. Different colours, you see a red balloon bobbing, you know whose line is going. Normally you'll hear the, the shriek of the reel or you'll see the balloon going. You hear a shriek of a reel, there's about seven rods there. Which one is it? You look for the balloon. Who's number seven? Seamus Dorley. If I read Seamus, ring yeah. everybody. Joe's Get number seven. Get your balloon away out there. Yeah, Get I'm it away out. Oh, he's running there and let mine go. No, you'll need to get it out, Shimmy. Go. No, go. go. And let go. Well, oh, wait, wait, it's tangled up with somebody else. Wait, did I get... No, somebody else tangled up with me. I was first out. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I like it. I like that. You've got a slick on the surface, which is the oil. But as well as that, you've the, the bran and the bits of fish that we mix it up into it, that sinks slowly through the um, through the water. So you're getting a curtain of material flowing away from the boat. Now the shark tends to hunt principally by, by smell, at the start by smell. He comes across that when he's wandering, and then we'll quarter up, follow it like a like a bloodhound, up along the slick towards the boat until he sees the baits. And he then... It's only a baby, Joe. It's only a baby. Oh, there's plenty of tailors over here. Yeah, here. There's another one just in case. Hang over the side there, do you see the colour in the water? They're absolutely superb. Hang over too much now, don't take out too literally. The corner. I don't think he's too big anyway. Dark walking back to back. There he is, him coming up through the water. Yeah. Small oh, he's not a big shot. He's not a big shot. Down there the ball, down there the road. Here he comes again. Come on over. But he's alright, whenever they come to the side of the boat, they're very fresh, you know, and they'll, they'll, they'll belt away and belt away. Here he comes. Oh, beautiful. Right, we're 30 pounder, so he's not, not only heavy than 30 pounds. Hand there the ball, hand there the road. Oh yes, nice one, so bring him over a little bit. I got him. I got him. Ha <laughs> ha. Well done, Joe. Well done, Joe. Ah, well done, Joe. Uh, well done, so you get your back. Take him easy, Nick. Take it easy. Easy, 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 easy. He's not behind you, back. Oh, oh, got a wee bit of a jump. This is alright. That's it. Right, it's difficult to get the hook out here. Pull the hook on round there. Shilly, that's you. Shoot him out. Pull the hook on round and shoot him out. That's it. Good take here. Bitch, is it a, uh, it's a girl? Bitch has got part of my jumper stuck in her teeth for some reason. No, we can draw a quarter. Right, Dorty. That's it. Right. Get the. Somebody hold its tail there, now. Nobody. Please. Okay. Somebody. Right. That's okay. You untangle the tail, sir. Measure. You can't measure that, Trevor. Right. Pull. Pull. 
53 inches. Uh, 10 meters, please. Okay, punch it in. Punch it in now. Right. Uh, do you want the number? number? Yeah, I've got the number. 12739. That's it. Where she goes. Probably oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Larry. Part of my jumper. And I'm Larry. <laughs> <laughs> However, there you are. There we have it. That's number one. Last year got Trevor's buckle off him. Well done. <laughs> there was a Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> Couldn't have happened to a better fellow. Down to number one. Wait, 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 wait. You're all. Everybody goes one up. Everybody goes one up. That was a good shark. Mm. 40 pounds. Could be bigger. Could be Not bigger. the biggest blue shark in the sea. A lovely yes. animal. Yeah, they, are, good. they are lovely. Uh, they're a beautiful colour, particularly in the sunlight. Uh, but if they're out of water any length of time, that fades, the blue fades and goes out back to grey. But they are lovely looking fish. You're a trout and a salmon angler as well as a sea angler. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how did they compare? I think you get a, a run of adrenaline in either way. Uh, when you get into a fish, uh, you still have the urge to go to either to the sea or the quickening pace down to the river. Uh, it's just the same, really, except on land you don't feel seasick. <laughs> you don't feel seasick, no. But you you, you took the fish in amazingly quickly now. Well, there are two things, really. Firstly, uh, when the fish is, if it doesn't take a big run to begin with, uh, as that one didn't, you uh, play it gently while everybody else gets their lines out of the way. Uh, the last thing you want to do is be tied up with everybody else's line. They're all racing in to get their lines in. Uh, then, keeping the pressure on it, you start bringing it in. Now, again, nothing is likely to happen until it gets near the boat. Once it sees the boat, then it's a different game altogether. It, it'll take off. and It'll start making runs, as we saw this time. Several, it made several runs. But, um, and a bigger shark would make much bigger runs than that. It's not a very big one. What about the bait itself? Now, we're putting on mackerel here. Is there any special way to put the mackerel right, I can certainly on, on show the you. hook? Yeah, I'll just show you they hook now. the mackerel? This is, this, this, is, uh, this is an ordinary mackerel. I shouldn't really be cutting this on my knee. I'll just show you. Put the knife in along there. This is what we, we call a flopper bait. You take it along there. Again, put it in the other side. Shouldn't really be doing this on my knee. And bring that back like so. And what you've got then is the back oh, the backbones like that. If you just give that a wee twist and pull, the backbone, the bone comes off. And we'll need that for the rubby dubby, so we'll keep that, we don't throw that out. What you're left with then is what's as I say, what's called a mackerel flopper. And when you put this on the hook, it comes through the water and it's very, very soft and pliable for the fish. And when a shark comes up, it's a lovely soft feeling for the shark. I think it is anyway. Uh, the way to hook it is through the straight through the snout like so and if you pull this on through and then we get the hook like so and this is the way I do it just nick it in under there bring it out and the, the, the wee tag on the steel here holds it like so so that you've got that mm. and that that to me that's a well presented bit some it's people a, would say no they, they would want to hide the hook they wouldn't want the hook to be no, noticeable at all no you don't want to hide the hook because if you uh, you, you don't want to hide the hook. If you hide the hook, whenever you strike the fish, the hook's liable to pull into the, the flesh of the mackerel. That, that's no good. You actually want that hook set in the corner of the shark's mouth or in its, its jaw. 
That's where you want the hook to be. And you need you to point out. You don't want it down its throat. No, no. I don't want no. The other thing not. I noticed about you now when you're fishing today, Michael, was you just the balloon. You, yes. you, you only blew the balloon up just a wee tiny bit. Yes, yes. I, I've seen people fishing with balloons, you know, that that's, are well blown up. That's right. Well, see, what most people think whenever they're uh, whenever they're blowing a balloon up to, to shark fish, they think it's for the Christmas tree, and they blow it up as far as it'll go, which is actually the opposite. That's the, the totally wrong thing that you want to do. What's happening here, the, wind, the, the wind's blowing the boat along, um, you put your, your bait down in the water, and you clip a balloon on with a clothes peg, say 30 feet down from, from, from the bait. Um, and what you want is, you want that bait to go uh, get out as far as possible from the boat. In order to do that, if you have the balloon blown up full, what happens is the wind is blowing the balloon back in towards the boat right. again. So you okay. blow it up. You don't need much. You, you only need, it's not really only to hold the bait up. And you don't really see, when a shark takes your bait, it's not really the balloon. You see, you don't see the balloon going under. What you actually, you hear the ratchet of your rod. Your rod, whenever you're fishing, your rod, you put the ratchet in gear like that and put it out of put it out of gear. And with this ratchet, the clicker on. That's so, a great sound you hear whenever a fish takes. Oh yeah, that's what it's yeah. all about. That's what it's mm. all about. It's sitting there and you're sitting back and next thing you hear, that there is a shark takes, takes, it, takes the bait. And, You mean you could unclip my balloon there, couldn't you? Just if I just bring it over to you. I don't touch your rod now, just don't clip the balloon. That's it. Get the balloon there. That's it. Here we go. He's rolling up in his face, I can feel the line. Him. Yeah, I can feel the line running around him. He's rolling up in the trace. Here he goes now. Here he comes. Yep. To the tail. Yeah, ah, see. Yeah, it's just as I said, I could, I could feel him rolling up in the trace earlier on. Ah, we're all right. You hardly need a tailor for this fellow. Great, we can get out again. Yeah, up you go. Wasn't he bad? Not even a book. Not even a book. Doesn't it count? Doesn't count. Oh, that's good. That's what you're doing. You don't want, you don't want them injured, you know. Oh, that's a nice sweet fish. So, which what is it? Thirty pounds. Aye, we'll just get a tag in our Trevor and measure. We'll get her go. Give us her nail holder. Aye, you're all right, Kieran. I'll hold her here for a wee sec. Easy, girl. Uh, it's inside there. Beside the wheel. Beside the wheel. Easy, girl. That's it. I'll get her tail down here. Right of the way. Get her by the nose. That's the best way that you can grab by the... Well, it seems dangerous, but you can grab by the nose. Can I get past there? You can, uh, you know where their teeth are. So... Just as you can see, their teeth are the sort of their teeth sort of can come, they can shoot them out about an inch. But that, uh, let me get the tagger on here. Okay, Karen, that's it. Pull her out. Did that go in there all right? Have you done a No, no, take that out of her. Do you want to measure there? We'll, there's the gold, the seagull. Right. Easy girl, easy girl. Right, just measure down to here. Here, Joe. Put that at the nose. <laughs> hold, hold that oh, on. That's your chat. That's your finger. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Okay, have you got her? 49. 49. Get the blue flag. Right. Right, here get we'll get the her back. back, uh, back my hand. Hand. Easy girl. Right. There you go. Where you go. Where you go. Hey. Right. Wow! But what's this yeah, about shark fishing? Are you one of these macho people uh, who, you know, the is it? What no. is it? Shark fishing? What is it? Brings men out to fish for shark rather than trout or salmon? Well, that's a comparison in the size. A shark, 
Oh, there's right some fun that not many people catch. Really, but not a lot of people fish sharks around here. And a wee bit of danger there. You know, you catch a shark, you get it on the boat, one slip it could fingers missing, anything at all like that. And it does a thrill. It's a thrill to but think that you might lose your fingers or your hand or something like that. Well, it's not a thrill to lose your fingers or your hand, but it's that wee bit of danger. It's known there's a wee bit of danger there, and it gives you a wee bit of a thrill. So the fish itself, apart from the size, apart from and the I mean, it's a very attractive looking animal. That lovely, lovely gunmetal blue. They're lovely fish. But yeah. then, the size doesn't always be what they're really after. That's just to say that you caught a shark. It was my ambition from when I ever started sea fishing years ago, to say that I caught a shark. Now you've caught sharks and caught sharks. Now I'm looking for a bigger and bigger and ones. you caught the Irish record shark? Isn't that blue shark? Blue shark was a very specimen. Mm. Mm. That was mm. last year. Mm -hmm. It was a good fish to catch. There are not a lot of them about now that size. Give yourself slack there. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. He's only with a lobe. Get, yeah, I'll try and get his nerves. No, no, you're all right, Joe. You're okay. Hold on. I got her. I got her. He wasn't that bad guy. I took more out of me and I forth. Mm. Your hook's actually not even in the no, fish. Aye. What's the hell with that fishing lever? Fall hook, throw him back. <laughs> what? No, so you didn't get the hook out. Um. Oh, oh, so you can see it's actually like sort of closing its eye, which not many sharks have that nicotine memory. However, We'll get her tagged and get her back in. She's absolutely fine. Right. Trevor, where are you? Come here, girl. Yes, I'm with you. Put him down slow. Easy, girl. Easy. Hold him out. Hold him out. Easy, girl. That's it. OK, John. Right. That's it. There she goes. Magic. There she's way down there. Look, see her down under the water there. Where she goes. Probably it is. Well done. Lines up. Five o'clock. Catch one. Right. 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 Right